Cape Town for a special repatriation ceremony of the spirit of Krotoa, a Khoi woman who worked in the household of Jan van Riebeck, learned Dutch and Portuguese and uh, also became an interpreter. Let's cross over to Palesa, find out what's been happening this morning and uh, what's going to be happening throughout the rest of the day. And we'll find out also where she is situated right now. Palesa, good morning to you again. All right, thank you very much, uh, Liana Masi. We're coming to you live with this beautiful sounds of the South African and Navy Marimba Band in collaboration with the Cape Town Seven Steps uh, Menstruals uh, mesmerizing us this morning. We're still coming to you live from the Groote Kerk here in the Cape Town of Musons Biki Afrikaans Prat van Ochend because we're in Cape Town this morning. Well, but we'll do that a little bit later on. Well, I must indicate, like Liana said, it's a big event today. I must say, uh, the South African National Defence Force, or rather, the South African Kenyan government will repatriate the soul of Trokoa, one of the significant women in the history of South Africa, someone who actually played a big role, a pivotal role in terms of the Khoisans as well as the Dutch back in the 1650s. But as to get perspective of how things will unfold today, we're joined by the Minister of the Defence Force and the Military Veterans, Nosivye Mapisa Ngakula. Minister Saobona, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning to the listeners. Thank you very much, Minister. Minister, what, why did the department see uh, the need to repatriate uh, Trokua's soul back to the uh, castle of Good Hope? Well, I'm sure you are aware that the castle this year celebrates 350 years of its existence. And we have decided as part of a rollout of that celebration, which will go on for the rest of the year, that amongst others we would want to repatriate the spirits of Kotowa from the church here where his bones, his remains are, to the castle. As you know, she died at the castle. She was working for Jan van Riebeck at the castle there. But strangely, when she eventually died, her bones were taken away from the castle and brought to this small church. So today we'll be repatriating her spirits symbolically repatriate them to the castle where she worked where she spent the better part of her life this is a young lady who started working for Jan van Riebeck while when she was 10 years old worked as a servant I would say because that's what she was called but was later on to become an interpreter who would be interpreting between converse, conversations between um, the Dutch and the Khoi people. You know, when, when I was sent to this uh, broadcast minister, I had to do my research and read a lot on Krotoa just to get a perspective as who, who she was. And it actually came to my mind that South Africa has so much stories, so many stories to tell, untold stories of women who played a pivotal role. And I, I believe this is one such story. Absolutely. In fact, that is why we took this decision that one, on one of the days, as part of the 60th anniversary as well of the March to the Union Building by the women of this country, that we would single out this particular woman and honor her and celebrate her life on this day. She's a heroine of the people of South Africa. We, none of us ever read about uh, Krotoa. I only started reading about Krotoa when I came into contact with the Defense Force and subsequently with the castle. So Kotoa for me symbolizes that which the women of South Africa have gone through over centuries. Kotoa for me is no different from the women of 1956 who marched on to Pretoria because they were challenging that the system should respect them as women and that in fact they needed their dignity to be restored and I believe that this morning part of this celebration is in fact a restoration of the dignity of this woman called Kosho Krotoa. In fact I don't know if you are aware that it is believed that she is the founder of the Africans, Africans language because in trying to interpret and translate between con on <coughs> conversations between the Dutch and the Khoi people 
there came out this language called Afrikaans. So indeed, she is a very, this is a very significant occasion. It's equally a solemn occasion when you read and look back to what this lady had to go through. And come to think of it, in spite of all of the things which she did, marginalized by her own community, because she was this slave who they believed was lapping up to the Dutch. Marginalized as she was, but she died a very painful death. After she had come back from Madagascar where she was married, she was isolated and imprisoned on Robben Island and she died and uh, people then believed that she was an alcoholic by the time she died and that she was a prostitute. But truth of the matter is, the painful, the story of Krotoa is a very painful and sad story of South African women, particularly South African women who live in the farms. All right, we're going to have two ceremonies here at the church. There will be a church service inside in a few minutes' time. From there on, there's going to be a traditional ceremony right where we're standing under the street. From there on, uh, a monument will be unveiled at the Castle of Good Hope. Talk to us about the unveiling of the monument. Well, obviously, as I said, we'll be repatriating her spirits to the castle. There will be a religious service. Then there will be the cult, the traditional one outside here. And of course, that memorial for me at the castle is very important so that generations to come should always remember that within the castle itself, in the story of what used to happen at that castle, there was a woman called Kroshowa, who I would say is a hero of the people of South Africa and is a heroine of the Khoi people. All right, Minister, that's where we're going to leave it for this morning. But thank you so much for your time and good luck with the ceremony later. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being part of this uh, event. It is our pleasure indeed to learn more about Krotua. That's the Minister of the Defence Force and Military Veterans in South Africa, Nosivia Mapisa Ngakula, talking to us more about Krotua and the significance of the unveiling of the monument that will be done in just a few hours' time at the Castle of Good Hope here in Cape Town. Well, there is still so much more to learn about Krotua here. Morning life, so make sure that you don't go away as we take an air break now.